Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi. I am DC 5 for Finance and Operation Consultant. My expertise are in uh, SCM and uh, Enterprise Asset Management. In this video, I am going to receive a serial number items on Advanced Warehouse. Uh, so my process started with creating a new item and then assign them to our tracking dimension and item tracking group and then create a purchase order and receive that purchase order through advanced warehouse so let's begin product information management and release product so I am going to create a new product its name is V underscore triple line 4 and I am pressing I'm using the same name for this item search name is same and item model group I'm going to use FIFO item group audio storage dimension is advanced warehouse tracking dimension is a, a V underscore serial and from reservation hierarchy because I'm using advanced warehouse so definitely I have to attach a reservation hierarchy I click on serial V and then purchase unit E each sales unit each and bomb unit is each inventory unit is each I let it to be as it is and I'm placing the purchase price 10 rupees sales price 20 and inventory price I am sending a 15 I'm going to click on OK so now one thing is more required for advanced warehouse that is unit of conversion so i'm going to set up i'm creating a new so one pallet is equal to ea 3 ea for my confirmation i set each to nearest okay i'm going back and then if i go to inventory i attach the serial number group v underscore serial this example is perfectly crafted for those items that required internal serial number for organization if you want to store a vendor serial number then you have to enter manually serial number for each item so for my example i required internal serial numbers sequential numbers so I am using this serial number so if I go to see the view detail so I attach a number sequence group this is which is the same sequence number we many times use this is the same sequence number we use in a different examples if I go for tracking dimension so it's a tracking dimension and I required only this tracking dimension that enables the sequence number and physical inventory uh, is, is true. And then the I enabled the serial number control which helps me to control a sequence number for all items in a purchase order. Rest of the things are same. Now I'm going to create a purchase order so for purchase order you can create by two ways either account payable or either a procurement and sourcing module so i'm going into all purchase order and create a new purchase order i select t and click on ok and from item number i am going to select v underscore and it is a uh, four item this message shows us, us that the sequence unit sequence group id is not mentioned for v triple nine zero so i'm going to i'm going to select each to palette and let's see the what's in it and it palette to each right I'm going to save it and unit sequence group is attached here and save it and I'm going to refresh so 
I have to remove this item so I'm going to again add this item and item group is v underscore and v triple four v underscore v underscore triple nine four and side is equal to double eight and warehouse is equal to eight right and i am going to purchase a uh, three items i save it and confirm it mm. right purchase order is confirmed so for mobile app i am using the emulator provided by um, microsoft itself uh, it's uh, it basically it's a testing purpose or verify the all the scenarios before using on an actual mobile app it perform almost all these functionality available on a mobile app so I'm going to cut I have a two custom menus and two out of the box so I'm going to click on a purchase receive and for a purchase order I copied the paste here purchase order click on ok it asks me which item you I want to fetch so here I have v underscore triple line 4 I click on ok and click on item number click on ok so now he uh, now it asking me what are the uh, quantity so I am going to select each for a three and click on ok and click on ok lessons plate I am selecting is x 9 4 times 0 and then 10 click on ok now it asked me that I have to confirm so now it asked me one by one for each item so it's uh, it said me the quantity left to receive three the quantity is one and this is the serial number this number is coming from the serial number group so i am going to confirm it click on ok number is changed number is changed many quantity is one i am going to click on ok so it, it show me the work is completed right so if i go if i go on a release product and click on manage inventory and if i click on a transaction you can see that three items uh, are registered and work order is reserved physical uh, physical and work order is on ordered registered three quantities and if i go here mention that the uh, location is available on receive location of a warehouse right and if i add display dimension serial number let's see what will happen and if i click on it i you can see that the three serial numbers are available with the reserved quantity so i'm going back to my mobile app and i am going to receive this quantity for this i click on ok uh, i'm going to put now i'm going to put the quantity on is required bulk location so i click on put and here i have a two options either i have to put a license number or a work id so license number as per i remember i put x 4 times 0 and 10 click on ok it told me that the three quantity is available for each and i am going to place it uh, place it that is one pallet is equal to three each and item number is v underscore triple nine four when i click on ok so it may give me a message that work is completed it means stock is placed on their required locations now we have to go go and check the transactions i am going to refresh this page it is recommended to use this refresh instead to this when i click on refresh 
it show me so this screen shows us initially uh, inventory is registered and against so this screen shows us uh, more detail that first of all that the item receive location is received and then it's sold to uh, registered sold to 88 88 is my user number and 88 and from 88 it again sold to and purchased to a bulk double zero two location where I sh uh, share you how you can register item set up a warehouse related information then create a purchase order and then that purchase order received through advanced warehouse mobile app and you can see this stock is available on a bulk location thank you for watching see you in another video